welcome to our new video that is mcqs on virology or viruses and this is the part 3 of this series of videos okay so the first question is in cell culture measles virus leads to nuclear pycnosis syncytium formation transformation of cells or rounding and aggregation of cells and the right answer is option b that is syncytium formation so in cell culture measles virus leads to syncytium formation so the next question is inclusion bodies of rabies virus are intracytoplasmic intranuclear both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option a that is intracytoplasmic so inclusion bodies of rabies virus are intracytoplasmic so the next one is all of the following viruses cause diarrhea except rotavirus, Norwalk virus, adenovirus or rheovirus and the right answer is option D that is rheovirus. So, so all viruses except rheovirus is responsible for diarrhea causing diarrhea. So move on to the next that is find out the odd one out the options are hepatitis a virus hepatitis b virus rheovirus or calcivirus and the right answer is option b that is hepatitis b virus so this is the odd one in this four options among these four options so move on to the next that is find out the odd one out options are adenovirus herpes virus hepatitis b virus or polio virus and the right answer is option d that is polio virus so here polio virus is the odd one among these four options for viruses next question is example of primary cell culture is hella cell or hep2 or mccoy or rhesus monkey kidney cell culture and the right answer is option d that is rhesus monkey kidney cell culture is the primary cell culture so next one is negri bodies are seen in infections with yellow fever virus herpes simplex virus rabies virus or cytomegaloviruses and the right answer is option c that is rabies virus so rabies so negri bodies are seen in infection with negri virus so this is the option c okay and this one is the option b okay so move on to the next that is hib belong to the family retroviridae and subfamily ento entomopox virini or otro retroviridae or uh, sp uh, spumari uh, spuma retroviridae or none of the above and the right answer is option b that is orthoretroviridae so hiv belong to the family retroviridae and subfamily orthoretroviridae okay so move on to the next that is which of the spike antigen uh, which is the spike antigen of hiv1 that is gp120 gp140 gp41 gp36 okay so move the right answer is option a that is gp120 is a spike antigen of hiv1 so move on to the next that is presence of hbs ag and hbe ag that is antigens in blood of a patient suffering from hepatitis b infection signifies a high infectious carrier or a simple carrier or a carrier with low ineffectivity or none of the above and the right answer is option a that is a high infectious carrier so presence of hbs ag and hb ag in blood of a patient suffering from hepatitis b infection signifies a high infectious carrier so the next one is presence of hbs ag and hb ag which are antigens signifies 
early stage of hepatitis or acute hepatitis or chronic hepatitis or late convalescence and the right answer is option a that is early stage hepatitis okay so presence of hbs ag and hpe ag signifies early stage hepatitis so move on to the next that is presence of hbs ag hb ag and anti hbc in blood of a patient suffering suffering from hepatitis b infection signifies super carrier simple carrier carrier with low infectivity or none of the above and the right answer is option a that is it is a super carrier okay so move on to the next it is presence of hbs ag hb ag and anti hbc signifies early stage of hepatitis acute hepatitis chronic hepatitis or late convalescence and the right answer is option b it is acute hepatitis so presence of hbs ag hb ag and anti hbc signifies acute hepatitis so move on to the next question that is p55 antigen of hiv is transmembrane pedical protein envelope antigen or polymerase antigen or core antigen and the right answer is option d that is core antigen so p55 antigen of hiv is core antigen so the next question is which of the transmembrane pedicle antigen which is the transmembrane pedicle antigen of hiv 1 so options are gp120 gp140 gp41 or gp36 and the right answer is option c that is gp41 is the transmembrane pedicle antigen of hiv 1 so the next question is which is the commonest mode of transmission of hiv the options are sexual or parenteral or perinatal natal or oral and the right answer is option a that is sexual so the sexual <coughs> is the uh, sexual transmission is the commonest mode of transmission of hiv so next question is what is the efficiency of transmission of hiv by blood transfusion the options are more than 90 percent 13 to 14 40 percent 2.5 percent or 0 0.5 to 1 percent and the right answer is option a that is more than 90 percent so the efficiency of transmission of hiv but by blood transfusion is more than 90 percent so next question is what is the efficiency of transmission of hiv by the sexual route options are 0 0.1 to 1 percent 1 percent per episode or 2 to 10 percent per episode or 15 to 50 percent per episode or 80 to 90 percent per episode and the right answer is option a that is 0 0.1 percent to 1 percent per episode is the efficiency of transmission of hiv by sexual route and the next question is what is or are the causes of death in aids patients so the options are opportunistic infections malignancies cachexia like state or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is <clears throat> all of these options cause death in aids patients so move on to the next or last question of this video so which cells are infected by hiv most often options are cd4 plus t lymphocytes cd8 plus t lymphocyte or null cell or b cell and the right answer is option a that is cd4 plus t lymphocyte is mostly infected by hiv okay so these are the all 20 mcqs on virology or viruses in this part 3 video okay so thank you for watching this video